everybody. I'm Philip Goodman from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. And this is the recap of the 2019 Best in the West Nugget Rib Cook-Off. The event takes over Victorian Square and sparks every Labor Day week, bringing together rib masters from all over the country. I caught up with some of the people who make the best in the West Nugget Rib Cook-Off, the premier summer party. First, I got to meet some of the talent that rocked the plaza stage, the Wesley Orslick Band. Based in South Lake Tahoe, Wesley Orslick and Liz Brosco were thrilled to be included in the rib cook-off for their first time. Now I read in your bio that you were LA based. What part of LA? Well, you know, I'm actually from uh, Croatia originally. I was going to ask moved, about your accent. Yeah, I moved. Yeah, that's right. I moved to LA a long time ago, and I spent some time there. And then I kind of, be honest with you, didn't like. It. So I moved, you know, a little bit to Vegas. Didn't like there. So moved to San Francisco. In the meantime, you know, I traveled with my other bands and ended up in Tahoe because I played in Tahoe quite a bit with my other bands. And I just love it there. So, yeah, we ended up here and we love it. You know, this is our first gig actually in Reno. We do quite a few gigs in, in Tahoe, around that area, North Shore and, you know, uh, Truckee and all that area. But we're really excited to be here. Now we're talking to Liz Brosco, the drummer for the Wesley Orselick Band. What, what compelled you to be a drummer? I started drumming when I was 10. My brothers used to tell me I drummed in my sleep, and I just got into it in high school, and then I continued on through college, and 40 years later, I'm still doing it. And who are your favorite drummers? Steve Gadd. And From? Um, Steve Gadd, he's a well-recorded artist, played with Paul, Simon, Steely Dan, um, John Bonham, of course. Oh, sure. Uh, Led Zeppelin? Yes. And Karen Carpenter was my inspiration when I was a little girl. And that's where we get the uh, the mix of your drumming and your singing on many of these tracks that we're hearing today. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so how did you get connected Wes, to Wesley? Uh, we met in another band in Tahoe 20 years ago, and we left that band and started recording albums. And cumulatively, we've got about seven albums we've done on and off together. So it's been 20 years of working. Well, you can definitely feel and hear and sense the synergy with all of you guys on stage. It's been a fantastic performance here at the Nugget Rib Cook-Off. You should definitely check out their website and go see one of their shows in uh, Tahoe. And hopefully you'll be back down the hill here in Reno oh, performing so. again. The Wesley Orslick Band set the stage for a jam-packed weekend filled with delicious food and lots of local vendors. These tents were stocked full of Nevada gear, home decor, artwork, jewelry, and other unique souvenirs. Finally, as the weekend came to a close on Labor Day, the award ceremony gave some rib competitors the bragging rights they came here for. Cook-off winners are chosen by a panel of judges consisting of city officials and local executive chefs. These judges are sequestered in a nugget ballroom where rib runners retrieve the competitors' ribs and bring them to the judging panel. The runners issue the competitors a numbered ticket that corresponds to the rib tray being delivered. This makes the process an absolute secret until the winners are revealed on stage by the number on their pan. All right, let's, pry, let's get some uh, winners crowned here. We're going to start off with Best Sauce. It looks like our rookie contestants here. Get her slow. Come on out strong with best sauce. Come on up here, guys. This was Gitter Smoke's first year at the Nugget Rib Cook-Off. Owner Kevin McFarland talked about what goes into an award-winning sauce and business. A lot of hard work, a lot of sugar, um, we'll just leave it there, sugar. Some of the events we've catered, I mean, we do everything from the Wing Fest all the way down the Reno Rodeo. All our food's cooked on site, so we can cater a party from 20 to 10,000 people. 10,000? 10, 10,000. How many smokers do you have for 10,000 people? Six. Where did the logo concept come from? It was a dream I had one night, so we incorporated it into our barbecue rub, and then from there, the wife said, okay, let's... Let's turn it into our main banner. You dreamt that Godzilla and a pig merged together and decided to cook? 
Henceforth, Porkzilla. Porkzilla, so I was Porkzilla. close. Yeah. Excellent. Here are the rest of the winners. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have 12 professional judges that come in and, and, and pick the actual winner. But in my mind, you guys are the winner. This is the real winner. This is the people's choice for the third year in a row. Back 40, Texas Barbecue. Come on, let's hear it for these guys. Okay, next, we're going to have our fifth place winner. Locally here, Famous Dave's. Come on up, guys. Coming up next, we have our fourth place winner of $1,000. Austin's Texas Lightning, Dennis Haggard and family. Come on up, guys. Congratulations, Texas Barbecue Lightning. For third place, we're looking for ticket number 5547533. Okay, let's hear it for Hole in the Wall Barbecue. Come on up, folks. Okay, next we're gonna crown our runner up. Okay, looks like Checkered Pig is your second place winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, now for the information you guys are all looking for. Not only does this winner get the tallest trophy, they get $10,000, but most important, they get bragging rights as the number one rib cooker at the 2019 Rib Cook-Off. Okay, it's official, back-to-back -back winners, Montana Barbecue Company, let's hear it for them, guys. It was an exciting win for Montana Q as they accepted their second consecutive championship trophy for best ribs. Owner and operator Tom Waugh was more than happy to talk with us with this year's trophy. I am with the back-to-back -back grand champion Tom Waugh. Tom, congratulations. Thank you. I was talking with Randy, the director of communications for yeah. the Nugget, and they haven't had back-to-back -back champions in decades. How does it feel? Oh man, I mean, I'm so shocked right now. You don't understand. I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> well, once again, you've put out a spectacular product. The line is through the village again. Did you do anything different, or were you able to mimic exactly what you did last year? You know what? I've made, I always try to mimic it every time I cook ribs the same way. I never change the recipe. I keep it the same. Like I always tell people, if it ain't broken, why fix it, right? So even though if I don't win, I still do the same way because it's won me more time than lost. Now, of course, the first thing I did when I got to the rib cook off the first day was come after your bison ribs. And there was something a little more magical this year about the ribs that you even told me about. Yeah, on the bison ribs, you know, they're a little bit special. I had my son help me make the rub and, you know, I mean, it's kind of the oops, but yeah, actually we did a little more flavoring to it just so we can bring out that sweetness of that meat, of that bison rib. And it was fantastic and a steal at only $5 a rib. Do you have any left today as we're nearing the end of the rib cook-off? Man, we'll probably be honest with you, we're probably going to run out. Like, you know, today we weren't expecting to win, so we, we kind of just kept it conservative because we don't want to get hung up with a bunch of ribs. So, you know, we always try to be conservative. We try to just cook it to where we think it's going to be enough and that's, you know, we're out. I have to wait till next year to get us again. Well, I can't wait for next year anyway. I hope that you win a third. Congratulations Thank once again, Tom. Thank you very much. Always Appreciate a pleasure. It. Tom Waugh, Montana Q, don't miss it. After the award ceremony, Randy Kennedy, the director of communications at the Nugget Resort Casino, revealed what makes the rib cook-off run so smoothly and safely. We know from past years, uh, we serve 240,000 pounds of ribs. It's prob That's a couple years old now. It's probably closer to a quarter of a million pounds of ribs. So 125 tons, give or take, uh, of ribs go out at this event. Um, this is our 31st year of the event. Uh, we, it, we've had all kinds of different crowd estimates over the years. We know it's a few hundred thousand people uh, over the six days of the event uh, total. So probably somewhere in the neighborhood of four to five hundred thousand people. Uh, I've heard the estimates around the half million mark. Yeah. Yep. Uh, talk about how you coordinate with the city and make it such a safe environment too. That's been one of the key differences I've noticed with giant trucks parked at the end, huge police presence. Everybody feels very comfortable here. Well, and and it's you know it's a it's a little bit of a different world we live in these days, and safety is first and foremost on our mind. It's, it's difficult uh, to coordinate something this massive that's also this open. I can't say enough about the Sparks Police Department, the city of Sparks, the, the council people. They're out here all the time, tirelessly. Well, I certainly enjoyed every moment of the rib cook-off, and I hope you did too. 
If you didn't make it out this year, the Best in the West Nugget Rib Cook-Off will be back again August 30th through September 5th of 2020. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so you don't miss more event recaps, as well as our monthly series, Things to Do in Reno. For the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. I'll see you around town. Say that it don't matter, you say that it don't count. Love is all that matters.